Hi. Today we're going to prepare plain kidney beans. Kidney beans are, I just love them, absolutely. And I don't eat them enough because they take some time to prepare. So we're going to make, prepare them. And I'll show you how I, I prepare them in advance and freeze them and just use them as I need them. So these are red kidney beans and we're going to do this using the pressure cooker and it's 415 and we'll see what time it takes and I want to talk about the label on this uh, product so this is red kidney, plain old red kidney beans that you get in the store and here on the nutrition facts which are also on the website it says uh, a quarter cup dry beans, dry beans, gives us nine grams of protein. So I want to write that down. So here for this it's nine grams uh, per one quarter cup of dry beans. Uh, to figure out how much protein is recommended, you can go to the physician. Committee on Responsible Medicine dot org, and they have a uh, formula there, which is body weight times point uh, three six gives you the number of grams recommended number of grams of protein. And uh, you can hear Daisy wants to go for a walk, but I'm going to get this started. So first thing we do is um, I'll sort the beans and um, rinse them. I think you've seen me sort before, but this is the way it goes. You just um, literally eyeball it to make sure there's no stones in there or little animals if there's little animals take them outside so they can uh, keep their life going in another area when I rinse these if you've seen me before I will um, rinse them but I keep, the, I keep the water the water is perfectly fine for uh, rinsing dishes or plants. So I have this thing here. And then what I do is um, I really feel that to be a satisfied vegetarian or vegan, you need to be able to um, really manage a pressure cooker well. I think that's the secret. And you can see from this water that it's pretty clean. So I'll use that later for something else. Now this is my favorite uh, pressure cooker. I encourage you to buy a good size, the right size pressure cooker for you and your family. Some pressure cookers are like this. For us this is just fine. And, you, and I'm just going to start the heat. I should have measured this, by the way. It, I happen to know it comes to two cups um, because the label here says that it's 16 ounces. So this is 16 ounces, and here it says 16. Sixteen ounces is two cups. So I happen to know that we have two cups of lentils in there. I just turned the stove on and it's 421. Turned it on about 421. And um, I'm just going to cover it. There's only about two or three legumes that you really don't need to pressure cook. Otherwise, these can take hours to cook. And uh, in a pressure cook, you'll find in one hour it'll be really nicely done. And um, before the, the uh, pressure gets going, you see how easy this is? It moves back and forth. Um, that means there's no pressure in there.
pressure cookers can be very dangerous, so you really need to pay attention. It's not something you, t it's not like a slow cooker, you turn it on and leave because there's no escape. It, it, it gets pressurized and it will burn the bottom and I've had that happen. Um, if for some reason it is under pressure and you are able to get this loose, it can really um, blow off and, and do some damage. It can, you know, like any cooking, it can hurt. You, you can get burns or whatnot. So it's not kid stuff. It's not kid's play. That's why it's good to learn about it uh, seriously. Now, because when it does get pressurized, it uh, sends a steam out here. I tend to, I have this that I already had. It was a salad bowl or something. I like to keep it like that so it doesn't just spray an anywhere. I tend to um, keep that around. But it, it doesn't come with it and it's not necessary. So it's 424. I'm going to let this get hot and get under pressure and... Um, and let it cook. I won't do anything else. If I work hot, put that on, and I'll turn off the tape for now. And, um. Okay, so it's 5:04, and I'm going to turn the heat off to see it steamed up everything. Um, and we'll give it a try. We'll see if these beans are cooked enough. And as you get used to doing this, you'll find you'll know exactly how much water to put in and how much time to leave it on. And um, if you have, the more time you have, the lower the temperature so it doesn't steam up. But it doesn't matter. You're uh, making some really great stuff for several meals. Uh, not just one meal, but several, because we're going to freeze some of these. 505, I want to, um, there's no way I can touch this, it's really under high pressure. And even if I were to try and let some of it So you see how dangerous it is. That is scalding uh, steam. So that's why you have to be careful. So I am now. I'm just. This is just the room temperature of the um, the water I use, and I'm just going to cool it down a little bit. I would not run clean new water for this. Uh, simply. Uh, because it's just not necessary. Even if this water were soapy, I would put it in there. We're just trying to get uh, some uh, uh, temperature improvement. Now this will have to cool uh, for you know at least 10 minutes, but I'll leave it there. 511. Let's see um, how much steam there is left in here. Oh, there you go. All cooled down. Okay, so let's see if it's uh, done enough. If it's not, we'll have to put it back on. We'll check the amount of water. It needs to have enough water. Whoa. So if you recall, the water was all the way up here. This looks beautiful. And this is wonderful. Look, it's all breaking up without even my having to press it down. So, uh, that is great, isn't it? That's exactly what you want. For even mushier, of course, leave it on longer, it's kind of hot. My fingers are clean. But, um, for this purpose, it, it's perfect. So it's 512, 513, and uh, this is clearly uh, done enough. I didn't, so if you can master this, uh, which it took me years to do for some reason, I just couldn't get it. 
I was also very scared of that thing. I had burned some, and so I got scared. But um, you now, we can split this up in the sandwich bags, and we'll freeze them. And now, if you come home at 11 at night, and you're starving, and you don't have any cans around, you, don't, you add it with a sauce that you like, which is, you know, either some fried onions and uh, tomatoes and various things. You know what I've done at times, too, when I'm starving and I don't have stuff ready? I have this on white rice with just plain soy sauce and some red chilies. And it's delicious. And as far as protein is concerned, you, you aren't left wanting. So here I'm going to... Okay, it's 5.15, so exactly an hour since we started. And we now have a really a good pot of a lot of uh, cooked red kidney beans. And once it, so we can either cook some of these for dinner tonight, or we can, um, and we will, uh, put some of it away. So if you're extremely busy, you can heat these up in the microwave with some white rice, soy sauce, and you're ready to go. Now remember, we didn't even add anything to it, so there's no salt. It needs salt, it needs a lot of things. But as far as the beans and the proteins is concerned, you have everything we need here. The fiber, the various uh, antioxidants. And these, of course, you make depending on the size of servings that you want. So if you make a large pack and you're only going to use a little, then you have to defrost it and freeze it again. Um, I tend to make these the exact size of what I would use at a meal. As far as um, your carbon footprint and what you've used, we'll check to see what packaging this came in what additives. We already know there's no additives. It's just red bean. Period. End of story. There you go. It's done. It came in a little cellophane bag. So that's the extent of your trash. You have no uh, cans. No additives that was put in the cans. That's the other reason for using this. There's no additives. Now the protein question. We can calculate it. It says 9 grams per quarter cup, okay, of protein. This was 16 ounces. 16 ounces. 16 ounces is 2 cups. So that means we had 8 quarter cups in here. 8 times 9 is 72. So there's about 72 uh, grams of protein and all kinds of other things right here. Now we have the 72 divided up. They're not exactly equal, but roughly. So if I can just recap, it's uh, 521. I'm going to say 525. So that's an hour and 10 minutes. Four, uh, for me, it would be four meals that will be frozen that I can bring out at any time. The only thing that's in there are these red kidney beans. There's no salt, there's no additives, there's no antibiotics, there's no nothing. Just what's in those beans is there. And they'll go into the freezer. I don't have any cans to recycle. The only thing to throw out is this thing. And uh, when I am ready to eat one of these, I just bring it out. I can either microwave it or thaw it on the stove top as I... Um, prepare some uh, onions, garlic, ginger, some kind of sauce to go in with them. Or I can put them in with a soup mix, which is what I do. I do all of them. So I just wanted to recap that. In an hour and ten minutes, we have four potential meals there. Thank you.